because, of course, as Lorraine said, he said sorry to comedian Chris Rock. It took 24 hours to do so after he slapped him for making that joke about his wife at the Oscars on Sunday night. The Academy has launched a formal review now into the star's conduct. But do you think that, that Will could still be a role model or has he blown it forever? Uh, we're joined by former Met police officer Ali Hassan Ali, who says that uh, Will Smith's actions were completely unacceptable and there's no way back for him. And broadcaster Zizi Miltz, who says that role models don't always have to be mm. perfect. Uh, let's, let's start with you in, in, in your position here. I mean, what we saw yesterday was a, somewhere between a trope and a cliché wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, boorish man makes rude, very rude personal remark about another man's wife. Husband gets up on his hind legs and biffs him one. I mean, it happens all the time. It happens all over the world. It, I'm not saying it's right, but it does happen. He has now given a very fulsome apology. You could say that he's done it with, with an eye to his career, but nevertheless, he said all the right words. Why, sh why should he lose his career? He's a very fine actor, and, and most people say he's a, a very fine man who simply made a, a bit of a mistake. So, as a former police officer, the, the, what I watched on TV was plain and simple wow. assault. Assault, so of course. Just like yeah. everyone would see it on TV. So, for me, what I saw on TV is violence. It was a man out of control. To me, I looked at that initially. It went from thinking it was sort of pre-planned set up to this is violent. You know, this man has now assaulted another man. Mm -hmm. Where is the police sort of thing? So, I'm looking at it from a, from a, a law enforcement type of stance where I was surprised that police didn't intervene, mm -hmm. as, as you would if someone jumped out of the crowd. Um, but, but, but if he's apologised, and if in the fullness of time, maybe he's disciplined in some way by the Academy, maybe they even take his award off him, don't you believe in redemption? Don't, don't you believe that there's a way back for people it's, who it's, made a mistake? It's, 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 it's a tough call, because you've done it in front of millions of people. You haven't done it in a closed environment, you haven't done it... So you're saying, you're saying, you're basically saying, if he done it behind closed doors, that's fine. No, not at all. No, what I'm saying is, is he's done it in, in, the, in the public eye, in at one of the biggest stages in the world, and I think people have looked at it and, and said, you know, there's little kids that I look up to Will Smith as a role model. Those kids are looking at that and saying, do we now go and slap another kid in, in the school? From play? what I'm, Zizi, from what I'm hearing Ali saying, he's saying is absolutely wrong in any environment. The trouble with it being so public is that Will Smith is a role model. So it's not just the assault that's the problem, it's that any child in a playground can say, I've seen my favourite actor hit someone else because that person insulted someone I love. And but that's also, probably not a route we want to go down. Well, but to me, being a role model is not about being perfect. It's mm. about you might make a mistake and then how you recover from that mistake is what being a role model is about. If, my, if I had a child and they looked up to Will Smith, yes, what they've learnt from this situation is the consequences of what's happened. He's been remorseful. He now has... There might be a, a situation where he... His award might be taken away from. So if young people looking at him, yes, he's made a mistake. He's apologised. He's done the right things. He, he wasn't ignorant about it. He could have waited. He apologised straight away and then he's thought about he his actions. He didn't apologise to Chris Rock but he, straight away. He, it took 24 hours for him to do that. He did. He, of, co of course, but I'm... What I'm saying is he apologised for his actions right then. Mm. In that moment, he was still probably angry with Chris Rock. And that's another thing. We are all human beings. Mm. And this weird world that we're living in now where people cannot make mistakes no, at all, that is actually probably I'm more detrimental to young people to like see that somebody makes like a mistake and everything is stripped away from them. It's about how somebody acts father, after they make a mistake. And I think how Will Smith has acted after what he's done to, is what yeah. is, is the thing. And uh, also, just to say, you have to look at somebody in their entirety... Will Smith has been a stand-up guy for the more for his whole career mm. yeah. to the point where if I'm correct, I believe that his grandmother his, or his mother found his lyric book when he was really... When he first started writing, they were swearing yeah. in there, being disrespectful to women. And from that moment, he said, I'm not going to swear in any of my lyrics, I'm not going to disrespect women. So you have to look at somebody in the entirety. You yeah. can't take all of that away he, from him. Except, Ali, as a former police officer, there might be young people who assault others who would also say, oh, but you have to take it all in the entirety, yeah. I've apologised to that person. Would that be enough to let them off no, the charge? No, no, no. I mean, I've, I've talked to ex-colleagues. I've, 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 you know, the Californian Penal Codes 240 will state that what he'd done was assault. And you're looking at a, a $1,000, up mm -hmm. to $1,000 in fines, up to six months in the county jail or both. So it's pretty clear um, that 
you know, more should have been done. I was and talking to Susanna, the head of the show this morning at six o'clock, and saying that I bumped into a, um, a magistrate uh, yesterday when I was out and about, and she was saying to me that if this had happened in this country, say at the BAFTAs, and Will Smith had been charged, by the, say, by the Met, and had had to appear in court here, uh, as a magistrate, she would have expected him to plead guilty based on, clearly, on the prima facie evidence against him, and, and he's admitted... Uh, there's yeah. nothing to deny, he did it. Mm. Um, but she said that she would take into account... This is what I mean about redemption. To, she called it the Asians, provocation and mitigation, that she would be prepared to listen to a defence counsel explaining what the provocation was, and that would then allow her to, to, to give some degree of mitigation in terms of this, this, the sentence that she passed. What do you think about the provocation, that here you had um, a man insulting his wife mm -hmm. for her alopecia? It wasn't that she shaved her head as a fashion statement and therefore she was, if you like, up for a, a joke about it. She shaved her head because she has alopecia and is very sensitive on the subject. Um, I think that's another issue as well. Um, often there's been a long history with black women and their relationship with hair and how we are seen with our hair and how that our hair has also been demonised, how it's not professional. And I think that's why... I think both of them are in the wrong. I think a lot of people have said, oh, two black men fighting, but Chris Rock, as a black man, speaking on a black woman in, in, a, in a, a place where it is predominantly white people who don't understand sometimes our hair or who... Mm -hmm. So he, to me, I think he was wrong. Because Do you think you... he should apologise? I think there's a... I think, that, I think there's both... I think, yes, I think there's a level of him... He should apologise. He says he didn't know that she had alopecia. He does know now. He should apologise. Oh, listen, even I know that she's got well, alopecia. Well, exactly. That's this was not... a well-known thing. They had a yeah. red table talk. She spoke about it. I think, it's, I think it's very weird that anybody in the Oscars, they, he would have had to run his jokes past somebody, that they didn't know that she no. had alopecia. So for me, to embarrass a black woman, on a world stage like that about an illness that she has, to me, that is very disrespectful. And as a black man, he should have known better okay. to do that. It's disrespectful and it's insulting, and it doesn't reach the threshold for provocation as some kind of defence no, for a violent action. No, it comes down to Will Smith wanting to show his masculinity and show another man that he's, he's a strong man. And, he, mm -hmm. he, and, you know, he's been in the public eye for all of his life. He's heard worse. Um, but this not could about have been his wife, and that's that's, so, the, but that's the problem. Yeah, so like you, people say it's a joke and everything like that, but you can't you can't make jokes about somebody yeah, no, wife who has an illness who no. has had to shave her head yeah. off because she's losing her no, hair. No, absolutely, I like, agree. Like you can't. If agree. There's, there's yeah, certain not, lines we, that you we can't, can all agree no, that it was an insult. It was a t distasteful joke. The I question think. is, does it amount to provocation? No, I, I think this could have been resolved in a matter of two men having a conversation, two men that have known each other mm. within the industry for a very long time. Would you time. vote with your feet um, if, if Will Smith isn't disciplined by the Academy or, I guess, what you would regard him maybe as a slap on the wrist, would you not go to see a Will Smith film again? No, no, it's... it's to be fair, I would con reconsider seeing Will Smith movies, and I'll tell you why. Because you're condoning violence. So what needs to happen is, just like the ordinary person, he needs to face the consequences, he needs to come out and apologise. Which he has and, done. And, yeah, we live in a land of law, so... He needs to be reprimanded, he needs to apologise and be remorseful. And do you think, because it doesn't look like he's going to face charges and Chris Rock doesn't want to press charges, do you think he should hang on to his Oscar? It's a difficult one to say, but I think uh, if I was in his position, I would give it back. You know, oh, you it's, it's, the first, <laughs> it's the first... It's his first uh, Oscar nomination. It's meant to be the pinnacle of his career. So for me, it's overshadowed. So See, overshadowed completely. No one's talking about the movie. You said that that it, it, what happened was an important lesson that actions have consequences. Do you think the consequences so far are enough? I mean, what have been the consequences I think, for Will Smith? I think that before we start talking about Will Smith giving his Oscar back or his Oscar being taken away, there's a few other people whose Oscars should be taken away. Like I know we've got Harvey Weinstein, who has a, who's attached to about 81 Oscars. So, you know, before we start, maybe some give him a call and ask him where they're all... Stand. And, you know, I mean, so it's just... We can just see there's... It's not a level playing field right here. So that's the problem. I don't think always being... Uh, someone being reprimanded needs to be, oh, something's taken away. If somebody is remorseful and you can see that they... Honestly, there's some people they apologise and you can see you're only apologising, but you can see from the moment he stepped on that stage, he was remorseful. What more do people, what more do people want? Mm. He didn't look very remorseful when he got back down on stage and carried on swearing <laughs> at Chris Rock. I'm talking about when he went on stage he and he off. accepted his award and he cried and he was very remorseful and he said he was sorry. I think yeah. that, I think, you know, and also I keep saying this because... Everybody is human and everybody is allowed sometimes to make a mistake. And 
I, I just think... wonder, there's a lot of young people who will have seen it who yeah. who I mean... are prosecuted for assault, who are not allowed to make mistakes. Yes, you know, there's it's, a, it's, it's, there... black, it's black and white. It's black and white. There's people probably watching the show today that will, you know, as the nation is divided, almost probably in half, people are saying for and against. But mm. you've got the law for a reason, as simple as that. Mm. You know, you've, well, got, you've uh, got to follow those rules. One of the reasons is to protect people in the future. We had a woman on the show this morning, an, an, an MP, whose father was killed by a single punch in a pub. A silly pub brawl. Uh, yeah, but also but I think we need to make clear that it was a slap and it wasn't a punch because they're two very... But those of course, but there's well. two, OK, but I know I, they, it can, but they're two very different things. So for people to keep grouping the two together, mm -hmm. I think that is not fair. It was a slap. We saw the slap. Chris barely moved from the slap. It, you know, he wasn't laid out on the floor. We, I understand. It's, I'm not condoning the behaviour, but to group a punch and a slap together, I don't think that mm. is fair. All right. Um, it's good to talk to you both this morning. It Hi. is definitely the thing that people are still talking about. Gotcha. Um, and the Academy is meeting uh, imminently to decide what they're going to do. Ali Hassan Ali, thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good to see you this morning.